Today is the big day. We've been waiting for this since Sony announced it and the day is finally here. Firmware 3.0 is finally available on the Sony a7 III and a7R III and today I'm going to show you guys how to install it. Cue the intro. Hey guys, Lumanus Time here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to update to firmware 3.0 on the Sony a7R 3 Although I'm using the a7R 3 the process is going to be the exact same on the a7 III. Um, so if you have that camera, it's, you can follow this video as well. It's going to be the exact same process. All right, guys, quick note before you do update. Um, if you guys are planning on doing this update, just make sure that you have a full battery in your camera. Um, it's just recommended that you have a full battery for, you know, any reasons you don't want the camera to die while it's updating because then you'll probably screw your camera. So make sure that your camera is a full charge and then we're ready to update. So the reason that this update has been so highly anticipated is because this is the update that brings interval time shooting, the more reliable eye autofocus, and of course animal eye autofocus. So this is going to be a huge update to the Sony cameras. It's probably going to make your cameras feel like a brand new camera. So now I'm going to show you guys how to install it. So let's get to it. All right, so to install the update, the very first thing you guys want to do is go to the setup page. And from there, go to page four. And you see how it says PC remote right over here. You want to change that to mass storage. Let me get over here. So if it's not in mass storage, you're not going to be able to update. But now that we got it in mass storage, we're ready to update. So let's get to the computer. So now that we're in the computer, the first thing we're going to do is head to Sony.com. Um, keep in mind when you guys are installing this update, it may ask you to sign in. Um, so keep in mind. All right. So now that we're on the website, we're going to hit to support. And then from there, we're going to click cameras and camcorders. So cameras and camcorders, digital cameras, interchangeable lens cameras, e-mount body. And then we're going to make sure you click on the seven series. Um, obviously, if you have a different camera to update firmware on any Sony camera, you just click your particular series of camera. And so since we're updating the firmware on the Sony a7R 3 we're going to go ahead and click on this tab right here and click on Downloads. And then from there, you will see the glorious firmware updates um, to version 3.0. Uh, where you're going to see it on either the Windows or Mac. Um, I'm using an iMac, so I'm going to go ahead and click Mac. And then from there, I'm just going to click download and you're going to see the user license agreement. And yeah, obviously nobody really ever reads that. And so from there, we're just going to download. It is going to ask you to sign in. And from there, you'll be able to download your firmware update. So as you can see in the corner, it is downloading. So let's see the actual progress. My internet is incredibly slow right now so it's probably going to take a little while so I'm going to speed through that all right it took forever but now that this update is finally completed we're going to exit out of Safari and from there, I'm just going to go straight to Finder to find the update. And here it is right here. So it's going to open it and, and the MacBook's probably going to ask you to type in your password. So just keep that in mind. Um, so as you see here, you're going to see Update Setting Tool and Resources. Make sure you guys click Resources and then System Software Updater. That's where you want to go. All right, now you get the warning, and of course it's gonna ask me to type in my password. And here it goes. All right. All right, now we're connected. So from there, let's just move this into the middle of the screen. So from there, we're gonna click next. It's gonna check to verify that the camera is in fact updated and it has checked and it sees keep note that my current up firmware is right over here version 2.1.0 2.10 2.10 excuse me and then it's going to go to version 3 and so we'll go ahead and click next do not click finish and then now it's going to reset the camera as you can see
And guys, it's very important. That you guys, don't even touch the cord or anything. You don't want anything to go wrong while this firmware update is happening or else you could probably destroy your camera. I'm not sure exactly what will happen. Um, but yeah, just don't even touch the camera. Now the camera is going to run the update. So you're going to probably see that the camera is going to turn on and off a couple of times. Just that's normal. Um, as you can see, this little green status bar is going to tell you the progress of the update. And so just, you know, just keep watching that progress. It's probably going to take five minutes, you know, sometimes less. It just depends. Um, this is a pretty big update, so it's probably going to take a while. Um, so just be very patient and just let the program run its update. Maybe grab a cup of coffee while this is happening or something. You know, do whatever you guys gotta do because this update could take a while. All right, so I'm gonna speed through the update and we'll come back when the update's finished. All right, so it took a while, but the update is finally complete. So let's just click finish. And so now we clicked finish, we should be good. As you can see, the cameras went back to USB mode. So let's check on this here firmware update right here. Let's see. Enter. Now, to check your firmware updates, you're going to go all the way to Setup, Version, and as we can see, we have successfully updated to the version 3.0. All right, guys, so we have successfully updated to firmware 3.0 on the Sony A7R 3 Guys, keep in mind that this is going to be the same process on all Sony cameras. Just select which set camera series that you're on, um, and then you'll be able to do it. All you guys need is a camera, a USB cord, and obviously a computer. And then from there, guys, you'll be able to update this. So if you guys did like this video, if you guys found it helpful, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so you guys don't miss any videos. Uh, with that being said, guys, this is Lou Monastan. My firmware is updated, and we're out.